If you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur and you wish you had somebody to talk to, well, we're going to, in this episode, talk about mentorship and how having a community can really help you. And our guest, Brenda Jo with Competitive Edge, is going to talk about how she mentors other small business owners and how she's changing their lives and they're changing hers. All right. We're here this morning with Brenda Joe with Competitive Edge. I'm really excited to talk to you. You are one of the badass businesswomen I know. You're amazing. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about mentorship and just women in business. But first, Brenda, if you could just tell my audience a little bit about who you are and what you do. Well, uh, I am currently the owner of a boutique insurance brokerage, and I got here in a very circuitous way. (laughs) I um, started my career in public health, and I uh, have my degree in epidemiology and biostatistics and began running a program for the county. That was the first public-private collaborative, uh, working with different entities in healthcare and sharing medical records. And that led to a career in insurance, working for the healthcare industry and then working for a different brokerage of a large brokerage house. And then just kind of pushing it on my own about 12 years ago. Yeah, that, that's amazing. You know, before we started um, recording, we were talking a little bit about getting started and women in business and something that you kind of are starting new is mentorship and um, helping other business owners. Tell me a little bit about that and why you've started mentoring. So I've been mentoring for quite some time. Uh, I think it's really important to share experiences so that we don't have to make those errors again and again because they're very painful as well as providing people some insight into whichever industry they're in or maybe a career path they'd like to go to or a presentation. They just come and ask, hey, can you can you listen to me? I, I want to say something, and what does it sound like to you? And once you build trust with someone, it's easy to share with them and let them know, hey, you might want to try this different way of saying it, turning it you know, from the negatives into the positives. So I've, I volunteered since I was in sixth grade, started being you know, at the hospital, you know, dumping trashes and things like that. It's a really big part of my life to okay. be a volunteer and mentorship right now is extremely important for our next generation. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree. And I personally um, got a coach last year for the first time, Um, you know, and and I've had maybe quasi mentors along the way, but now I'm in a mastermind group and it's, it's changed my life. Being able to talk with other business owners who are going through the same situation and having the coach that can facilitate that conversation. And like you said, it can be as simple as like, listen to my pitch. Do I sound funny? Am I saying something weird? Or to, I'm having a really major problem with my partner and I don't know what to do, you know? And these are, as a entrepreneur of a small business, I have a team, but you still, it can be very lonely. So who, who are you helping mentor? Like what's kind of the common theme or what do they come to you about? So there's there's two areas. Uh, I would say mostly women. They'll come to me. Be, I'm easy to talk to. I try not to pass judgment, and I ask a lot of questions. I'm very investigatory. You know, yeah. I want to dig deep and find out what's really going on. And um, I had one client. She uh, is a cousin of another client. They bought half of the business doing sewer connections up in the Bay Area, and. She comes from a background of sales in marketing and, you know, like working with the BBB, selling print ads and things like that. And she was getting a little frustrated on, Mm -hmm. hey, I'm transitioning now to a construction business and why is this not working? And we just kind of sat down. I I just asked her the questions. I'm like, Tracy, you've got this. You've been (laughs) in this business for, you know, 26 years. Now you just need to transition those skills to right here. So let's talk about, you know, where are you approaching? How are you approaching? Where do you need to go? Your network needs to change a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, and working with that, working with community associations, working with apartment associations, and just getting out in the community. 
Yeah. No, it's so important, actually. I run my own mastermind, and um, I'm working with two um, startups, both run by women. And and the one startup, she's a, a small uh, agency, and she's an introvert, amazingly, in marketing. And she's like, how do I network? I don't want to network. I'm scared to death of networking. So we challenged her just to go sign up for a virtual networking group. And so she did that. And it's a first step. And I can already see she's starting to feel happier about that. And that's how we can support each other for sure. Do you find when you're talking to men versus women, do are they, are, do we have different issues? Are we hung up on different things? Or do we kind of have the same challenges as business owners? So I think the difference between men and women is when I, when I speak to men, it, whether it's in business or personal situations, they feel like they already should have known this and what to do. And so when they reach out and just kind of throw a, a little teeny problem out there, uh, you you have to peel away several layers of the onion to get to <laughs> what the root is because they're so used to just being, you know, the provider, the one to get things done. Whereas women are easier in that they come out and they ask you, they're just point blank, you know, hey, what do you think about this idea? I had one of my entrepreneurs call me up last night and she goes, I know it's late. You don't have to answer the phone. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm here for you. 830. You know, what do you need? She said, I was selected to do a pitch for um, uh, income. Oh, I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought on that <laughs> uh, to, for uh, funding. And it's, it's a mock pitch, but it's for a group of women uh, business owners. And I want to run it by you. Would you mind, you know, listening and oh, giving me some pointers? That. And I told her, of course. I've been, she's been my client for three years now and growing in the um, software space up on the cloud. And we went through the whole thing and just kind of went through and said, you know, here, let's get back to basics. She yep. wants to get so much information in the five minutes that she has. Yep. I said, let's move back to the five W's. You know, when we were kids and we had to do current events and you had to do the who, oh, yeah. what, why, when, why, <laughs> where, and how. Yeah. And so we went through that again. And I said, well, who's the who? You know, tell me, what's your who? What's your when? What's, and we went through that. And so she was able to really feel comfortable from a written script that she had that she didn't feel was her voice right. to her passion of why she was doing what she was doing and how she was helping others. Yeah, I know. I love that. And I think, you know, um, same thing, kind of going back to my mastermind, we um, got this uh, young business owner to get to their first networking group. And then the second one was working on her pitch. And I love that. Who, what, why, where, and how? Is that it? And the when. And the when. Okay. So um, sorry if I got that wrong. <laughs> but I think it's so just easy tips like that and be able to talk to each other. And so we made her do her pitch like several times. I know I need it. And those things can make a world of difference in just building your confidence and then being able to convey your message in a way. I mean, if you're pitching for funding, that's huge. Yeah. And, and what are the, she kept asking me, what do the funders want to hear? And I, you know, they want to hear sustainability and profitability. Yeah. And so what is your plan to move forward? That's the what, you know, let's talk about the what, what is your plan that can make this um, iteration after iteration grow? And we were talking about multiples and she says, well, you know, if I get from here and double it to this many clients, it's, it's not just doubling the revenue stream. It is, um, you know, accelerated. And I said, oh, so you haven't figured out what your factor R is, right? When you double yeah. from here and maybe you're going from 10,000 to 20,000, if you just think you're doubling clients, but really it's a factor of 1.2. Mm -hmm. So you're going from 10, you know, to 24. Right. And so she needs to figure that out when she goes to investors to share the synergy that happens when, when more customers are on, her, are on her platform, the sales increase exponentially. Yeah. yeah in, and I'm not a numbers person, so that kind of went over my head. But to have somebody on my team or someone I can go to that could explain that to me, it would be so helpful. I really appreciate that. Well, Brenda Joe, we are kind of coming towards the end of our interview. What's 
talking about mentorship or just, you know, even joining groups, what's your advice? Like what's something that if somebody's listening to this right now and they're, they're small business owner and they're just like, God, I just wish I had someone to talk to. What do they do? How do they find somebody? Well, the first thing is to talk and to ask and not to be afraid. We can't come into this world knowing everything. And so I would suggest finding areas of your own passion and what you like to do. Uh, Networking is really fun. So find a group that you like. If you love books, join a book club first. If Mm -hmm. you, you know, like to work out, go find a club that where you can work out and be yourself and be your true self. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to be in a place where you feel safe to ask a question without feeling you might be judged. Right. And that's key to a mentor and mentee relationship. And also to be mindful that, you know, mentors can be younger than you. I reach out to my younger clients and friends and ask them about what's really important. My kids are grown now. So I don't know what's happening in the toddler area (laughs) and what's really important in that area. And so they keep me apprised of of that. And it's really important to stay in touch with the different generations that exist. I think we're at five all at one time right now. Yeah. No, that's such a great point. I think when you think of a mentor, you think of someone who's older, but a mentor could be anybody. It's somebody who can help you understand a place or a phase or something in life that you haven't experienced. So that's, I love that. That's really great advice. Well, Brenda Jo, as we wrap up, what's the best way for somebody, let's say they want to reach out to you um, and, and talk to you a little bit more. What's the best way for them to reach you? Rebel, um, I love a phone call. <laughs> I'm OS all the way. I want to talk to you. I want to hear the inflection in your voice and hear the worry or the excitement so that I can help you. Otherwise, send an email. Um, that's easy. We can always connect that way or text. Um, and we're very open. And awesome. we're open to meeting new people and new situations. Awesome. Helping others. Great. Well, we'll put your contact info in the show notes, of course. And um, yeah, and for my audience, you know, um, as we always say, revolutionize your marketing. We, the reason we're doing this podcast right now is so that we can promote ourselves, but also our partners. It's a great way to create content. We're filming with our other partners, Max Lux today. So um, as we know, professional service businesses, especially if you want to build your brand, Creating great content like this is important. And um, yeah, uh, reach out to us as well. I love phone calls and uh, email is the best way to probably reach me. But I really appreciate your time today. Oh, Rebel, it's it's awesome. (laughs) And I just want to thank you for taking me out of my comfort zone. Thanks. It's it's been awesome. You've made me feel really comfortable, um, and I appreciate your your time and your mentorship as well. Oh, I'm so glad you did great. See, it wasn't that bad. 